to unlock anguish all you have to do is wake up now literally it's pretty simple straightforward except the one step's a little rng heavy first things first i did not figure this out fomento posted the first video and a commenter left an amazing explanation prince of persia 876 gave the details now you want to make a new campaign post dlc patch and i suggest doing it on the easiest difficulty because at a certain point if you die you have to basically restart that's not exactly ideal and you do not need a perfect campaign role which is amazing swap between the campaign and adventure modes and it carries your progress now first step clear campaign up to root earth i suggest going past that and also clear the very first mist gate with the train yard fight and the mini minion dude that flies like the mini boss guy but he's not a boss clear that so you just don't have any hassle later on step two reroll your adventure mode to get a ethereal manor in a lost and fire dungeon if you don't have one in your campaign get grabbed in this ethereal manor and once grabbed liquid escape which is a item in your inventory it's a skull you pop it to your i think quick bar you drink it and you die and then you have a little a small little crystal go to war 13 from that crystal and maybe also get the item there if you haven't been here before like i wasn't so sick loop and from here you apparently can no longer die so be careful i also suggest unbinding liquid escape from your hot bar if you bound it there so you don't fat finger it and mess yourself up because it may be a problem later step three go to war 13 from the crystal in step two and talk to the Dran who's down by the fan with a little fire who's just chilling doing some shady stuff he'll grab you and snap you back into reality step four go to yesha red throne and walk down the stairs into the prison which is your first door on the right and just follow that path and the dren will be in there talk to him step five swap to your campaign and go to labyrinth the very far right area walk up the stairs the little bridge over the portal and talk to the dren there step six requires forgotten prison in narud and you have to go to talratha's refuge and talk to the dren in that room right next to the crystal step seven swap to campaign go to root earth and go past the uh, courtyard i mentioned earlier and it's going to be a little dude near the gates and talk to the dren there step eight requires mara parish and lawsome and go to the tormented asylum and walk towards the left ish side of the uh, down under and there's the dran and finally go ahead and pop the dran dreamy gives you in your inventory and then you pick up the item and you see a little cute sunset and you can go back to war 13 and you can craft the anguish and after all that you finally have anguish a little sidearm shotgun that i wish applied bleed but it's pretty neat i'll say that much for sure you got five rounds you realize pretty quickly if you hold the shoot it shoots one shot that does damage to you but also explodes which is it's cool modifier shoots a bunch of these little needle things that also explode and they scale off mod damage which my build has none of so the damage of the modifier would be higher in an actual mod mage style build but it's pretty neat again though when you hold the shoot it hurts you just be aware of that and i do think it, I sh it should apply bleed like look at look at the weapon look at the spikes and stuff all, all crazy like if that applied bleed it'd be so lit for summoner style builds like if it just applied bleed and you didn't have the uh, the loath of the week modifier which i think will be really bad because the damage does not seem very good anyway though that's just my idea it's a cool looking gun and getting it wasn't though wasn't too wild and fomento is a genius for finding that stuff out anywho thanks for watching have a beautiful day peace